Hello, friends of Komodo Platform. It's me, I'm Juliano, and it's the 22nd of September. Yes, the days are passing by. We are Wednesday, the hump day, midweek-ish. Here we go, into a closing. It is uh, not quite done yet, about 90 minutes remain. I'm gonna share the screen. We're gonna look at some price charts. We got the BTC. I mean, you probably already know this, but for some of us, maybe we are just looking for the first time. Well, yesterday, maybe after the video that I made there, I also uh, just saw an opportunity to throw a channel here on the BTC. It was probably the four hour that was uh, where it came from. Yeah, it was from the four hour. That's where it came from. And uh, wow, look, here's some interesting happening. So there it was. It, it was at least an intermediate finishment of that deep down movement to the 40,000 level. And when we take our candles into consideration, we pop down into the 39 sixes or so. Uh, and so that's the idea there. Bang, oh, bingo, bang, oh, bongo. Wow, we even passed over this line. Okay, so what was this line? It was just kind of a zone where we were taking the, um, when you know, when you have maybe a third wave extension, you get a different kind of channeling compared to what's, let's say, if you have a first wave extension or a fifth wave extension, let's say. So this channeling here with this midline here then has now turned back solid again, which was previously this dashed line. Uh, there we go. Like we just held it at this support level, not only crossed right over, but bang, we're trying to get out of it. But that's, so that's interesting. I mean, this line is not necessarily anything super special, but you know, it again, it's just more information to consider. Uh, looking at the candles here for our time frame, pretty cool. Um, okay, so what are we thinking now? What are we thinking back in the channel? That's for sure, back in the channel. Um, so where does that go? Well, we're at the midway point of the channel, finding resistance. So let's see, we're at, this is the four hour price chart. So we'll see where that goes to. Uh, let's see here, where are we? Oops, we've lost a bit of the mouse, there we go. And yeah, I'm going to see where, okay, where are we? We're back at that midway point of the channel, uh, 20 period average on the four hour, below the cloud. All right, well, you know what? We made our bounce. Let's see what that does. So we'll take a retracement of the high to the low and say, okay, wick to wick. We're not even 50%. We're at the 38.2 ish, just above that. So let's just go body to body. And we say, okay, 61.8 is around 45,000, which was a previous consideration. And the 50% is around the 44,000. So we'll definitely see some resistance here at this 44,000 level. Um, but overall, it looks like this zigzag here, starting from this uh, you know, 6th of September timeframe has finished as a zigzag. And we'll see what this correction continues to be as we are still in this channel. The potential to reach the top of the channel, let's say we get there and we're around the 618 by the 28th of September, which will be in about uh, five, six days, let's say. Uh, will it take that much time? We can take ourselves to a daily time frame and see. I mean, this is quite quite the nice candle, but it, and it, I, if it can close here, then it will engulf the previous day uh, in, and that would be great. Uh, we'll see where we, we end up. Once again, we have about 90 minutes remaining in the, in the day, um, but nevertheless, this is a hopeful candle back into the cloud Okay, back into the daily price cloud and potential to really see if we can get back up. Otherwise, um, that won't be good enough. So we'll see, it's, it's up to this time here. I mean, if there's gonna be further dump and it's going to be following this trending line, oh, now we get a dotted line, uh, then that's gonna be a, a major dump. Otherwise, yeah, maybe we're, maybe we're following, falling out of it and going back towards deep positivity on the daily time frame, okay. Uh, but RSI has not fully gone all the way down, but it is um, supporting at the same level as it did previously. So the 20th, 20, uh, the 20th of July, cool. So yeah, watch out for some, some resistance type of uh, movement here and then yeah, you know what? It's a one, two, three, four, five here, six days, and we're already at the 28th just here. So that could be a clearance by then, um, all in the way into the oversold territory. But 
doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be. And Bitcoin's in a strong position right now overall, like relative to everything that has happened since May. Uh, it's not in a weak position. It's not a strong position. It's quite in the, it, well, it is stronger than weak is my opinion. Stronger than weak. I just want to... Still above that trend line. So that's that's okay from the uh, the top and the, the, the high and then the next lower high. Okay. And yeah, that's where we are. So that's the BTC um, for our time frame. What kind of volatility? Like volatility too has been more negative. So let's see if we can get into some positivity here on the four hours and uh, get regain some of that. All right, this has definitely been in a bit of a channel here, hasn't it? Something like that. Anyway, so there it is. Just for fun, channeling your MACD. Okay, that's your BTC USD. And we're gonna go into the KMD price chart, 2221 showing right now at the 96 cents. Decent day for KMD, it looks like here. Um, wow. <laughs> Oh, KMD, it's like, it's just manic, manic. I didn't, hey, recognize, this is a four hour time frame. Recognize this resistance here. I didn't add this line, it was there. Um, and what that was actually is probably the daily, yeah. So here we are on the daily. What that was, was, uh, was a, a line relating to the daily, the bodies uh, closing, right? If we were to take this and this, um, it's a bit different, but okay, fine. Um, so that's, you know, back into this channel, back even above this green line like that, if it can stay that strong, that's fun, that's bullish. In my opinion um, and that looks like a decent place to be we can handle that right now uh, really working its way to the um to the top of this uh, top of this channel here so i mean really if we take the candles of it you know kmd going to the 2500 satoshis level come on it just does it sometimes it's just it's wild it's just wild. And I just, I, I think it's great that we get some sort of play here. Uh, couldn't quite stay above the channel on this four hour level. And now we're down below it, but whatever, back above the green uptrending line. We had a double bottom higher lows here. That's strong. You see what I'm saying here? We had the one here and then the, the next one right here. You see that? Uh, all right. And right. So this action here, that's good. You, you know, come on down. Hey, this is good. I mean, all of a sudden we're back in this weird, whoops, in this weird triangulation position here where, wow, we are like right in it. Okay, the timing of this video. Um, I just wanna recognize that we are, we are right in it right here where, now, currently, like, where's the price? Okay, we are still within this downtrending and this uptrending. Uh, so that triangulates there. And then on the bigger scale, we've got this downtrending and the green uptrending where we're triangulating here. So, oops, not comparing anything right now. We're just comparing candles and lines. So there we are right there with the price. Um, cool. This could be a bit uh, corrective, but you know, this is a, the four hour time frame. Um, yeah, on the four hour might find a little bit of, of correction through there, uh, but overall we could definitely see another green candle um, to solidify. Now in term to solidify the, the price move up, but you know, we're right here at this, at this, um, we're right here at, at this cloud. So if that's the case, and if this is just a resistance now, we're gonna dump down further. All this channel more okay well that's what it is we tried to get back inside we couldn't we failed fine that's where it goes that'll be the signal for the further downward movement it starts breaking down let's go to the four hour if we start breaking down like we've already got that big wave but we can consider that you know just interesting interesting market action um if we take from the wick 
we're already down to the 618. So hopefully it can just hold its level here. If we play the bodies, uh, we're not even 382. So there you go. Um, yeah, so it, 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 we would look for a holding right now to try and keep that strength and go to the next level. Let's see what that means. For our time frame to get above the cloud, you would be in like 26 to 2700 level of Satoshis. Uh, so, is KMD going to pull another one of those where you get like a massive wick up to 2800 and then come down back down to 2200, <laughs> 2300, 2400, even like first 28 and then to 24? I mean, you can play that game if you, if you, you know, none of this financial advice, but KMDs can, can be interesting to play on uh, in that way on exchange. Okay, so we're that's where we are. We're still within this downtrending, uh, smaller downtrending, but we're back in the uptrending as well and back into this green uptrending channel. So a good day for KMD um, in that sense with, again, another about uh, 85 minutes left in the day. Here is one more time the daily candle, and I'll leave it at that for the fun of it. Hope you're doing well. Uh, oof, it's going to be tough, you know, like the, the amount of candle, which is a wick, is huge compared to the amount of candle, which is um, actual price action. So let us see. But on the daily, oh, the, what I did want to say is on the daily, we are we are again potentially uh, at some point going to break this trend as well. Uh, did I mention? You know, we're going to break this trend at some point. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to be. All right, and then at at that point, we're going to eventually make a new trend that involves the green. Uh, positive momentums, positive histogram, I should say. Okay, um, next is getting out of here and looking at the pirate chain deal. All right, pirate chain, take a look at the, oh, okay, you wanna check, wait, let's check the, uh, the KMD USDT since I, I don't always think about it, but we'll just take a look based on some of the things we were watching before. Oh, so we found, uh, again, that support on the closing level at that midway line of this channeling. And now we look to try and get out of it. That's good. That's bullish. That's fun. That's That tells us some good news. Uh, are we going to continue with this positive green momentum? This is a four-hour time frame. So that's cool. And then when we take it to the daily, again, these trends are going to reverse uh, at some point. Um, when is that going to be? I don't know. But we look pretty balanced right now. So. Um, then again, who's to say, but because we're starting from a higher point here, maybe this signal and MACD lines will get more into the positive territory again when we get the next time of positive momentum with positive histograms. All right, so that's on the daily. And so that's to the significance of that. And we just kind of look at that scriggly scraggly that way. So looking, um, looking okay, look at some, tracement here okay so still within that oh sorry above the 618 line right now okay cool what did the candle sticks to we have big candle so let's see if that that positivity can can maintain otherwise uh but you see how this whole triple confluence here of that long uptrending long downtrending and the channeling here <laughs> I mean, these are all just arbitrary decisions by me, right? I've taken this uptrending line here, this downtrending line with the price from the uh, recent uh, high and then a lower high, and then this channeling here from this local downtrend. So that's what those that confluence is. But uh, there you go. I guess, you know, reality, and in this case, charts present information and we can correlate things. Uh, this is using geometrical ideas, I guess, and correlational ideas through the, the, the planes and axes of the chart, which is the time axis and the price axis, which is the which covers the behavior of uh, the behavioral uh, degrees of freedom of this uh, price chart, which is just, yeah, this, this market activity. Okay, there's your KMD. Good bullish candle there. Um, no complaints here. Very good. Now, it's been such a seesaw. It could be you know, wildly down the next day, but there's good there's good signs in in strong strong bodied candles like we're seeing. 
All right, and now in terms of strong bodies, let's look at the pirates. Friends of Pirate Chain, take a look. Yeah, oh, isn't that cute? So we readjusted this, um, this wedging, yeah. We readjusted this wedging, now we're retesting this breakout, isn't it? So yeah, there you go, isn't that cool? This is a four hour time frame. Uh, so who knows what that means for a daily. But uh, yeah, see for a daily, it means uh, we're not quite there yet. Four hours maybe giving us a, a bit of a hint of what's to come because we're starting to level off now with the Bollinger Bands. Can we handle more dumping? Are we gonna need to? Is it gonna be time to get back up there in price on the Satoshi's level? Uh, like if anything has been showing the not, well, okay, wait, this is the, this is the KuCoin chart. So of course on KuCoin chart, we could find that it's just a, a, a pretty decent downtrend overall. But when we start looking at um, the longer term timeframe CoinX data, it's looking better. Anyway, here we are and we have potential on this chart. Let's see if we can find some turnaround, um, but at least the strength of this candle again is, is good all the way around. And this is the BTC price. And we noticed that the BTC price is also at 43,000. It's not, you know, it was, it, it's, it's 43 and a half thousand. That's, that's, a, that's actually an important level. That's a good level to be at. This is a really good level to be at. Now the, the point is, is this is gonna resist and, and, and then dump further back down. That's the problem. But if we can hold this and go higher, then that's um, incredible, amazing. That's where it needs to be. Uh, so on the USDT with the KuCoin price, uh yeah at least it's making the higher higher low um and yeah another good candle that's on the daily so let's just take it to the coinx exchange shout out to coinx exchange here we go for having a nice chart that we can use with the get orox platform or terminal i should say it's a four hour wow let's get daily so we can at least have a better view with the long-term movements all right, so here we are basing out, looks like we are in some sort of accumulatory phase, this type of automatic uh, rally after the dump down. Now we're gonna test it. Maybe, maybe we already tested it and this is a spring that we've made here after the low down here. We'll see, they can take many variations, but overall this sideways channeling with a little bit higher and a little bit lower between the basic uh, supports and resistance levels. That's accumulatory. Um, I mean, the other option is 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 redistribution, meaning you've had distribution up at the top here, and then things have changed hands all along the way, along the way down, and also there is more uh, people who will sell at lower levels. So then it will be redistribution, like further distribution before dump down further. But uh, we all know that the pirate chain and based on the USDT chart and all that good stuff, um, I, yeah, the BTC price is likely going to be uh, increased. You know, we've got this sharp decline and now we've broken through it. It's a nice sideways action. Come on. Uh, uh, this, if this was somebody sticking a landing after like a, a ski jump or something, that would be really solid. Like pro. Okay, yeah, this was a wild move here. I mean, this, all of this here, oh, that ate a lot of lunches right there. A lot of lunches. Good times with the pirate chain price charts. Thanks for being here watching, maybe making a like button hit, oops, or maybe even better, a comment. Yeah. All right, so that's where the price is here. It's not making the, the lower lows. Uh, on this chart, it's making actually higher lows. So the CoinX data is looking good, but I think also this area here, we can't really, I mean, no, we just take what the chart is, right? This market is this market. It's the CoinX market for our BTC. And so that's where we are. Everything is looking good. That's it. That's where we are. We've got a nice bullish daily candle there. Can't complain uh, for our time frame. Yeah, we got room to go if we want, but uh, meeting some resistances at this 200 period average. Yeah, could go for some positive momentum here. Let's do it. Um, and that's the four hour type of time frame. Um, that's it. That's really where we are with the RBTC. So that's good. That's good. And then 
yeah, because the next move needs to get needs to try and hit this. Maybe it's only going to make it to halfway around this cloud. But if we could get up into this cloud, confluence with this upper band and the downtrending channel and fight there, maybe you need to come down here first before going higher. But that could be nice. That could be the breakout time that we need in this in in for this um, this downtrend right here. Okay, that's, that's that's where it needs to go. But there's also a chance it goes up, comes down first, fights a bit first. Uh, into you know October, mid October, whatever November, and then we go. That's also the possibility because it's the BTC price chart, and if BTC itself is making moves to the upside, Empire Chain and the USDT is moving up to the upside, uh, but it might not as much maybe or whatever. Then this has that has to go sideways or down, possibly. Okay, because it's the RBTC. Okay, next, uh, let's look at our USDT on the longer time frame. And yep, thank you. Wow, looking good. So we're sticking in that channel very quite likely. Um, where are we going? We're going right here. We're going to the parallel channel. Boom, boom. Oh, we had two of them. Which one is which? Uh, we're trying to we're trying to fight back into. Let's get rid of that one. We're trying to fight back into it. Look, <laughs> can we though on the USDT time frame? Like this is, you know, this is just a zone. So who knows if it's exact, but it's interesting that uh, that's where we're seeing the resistance on this one. Okay, so we were dumping out of it. Uh, I kept it there for us and there it is. Um, we could, I could probably be more exact and it, it might actually, if we try and play with the wicks, it might end up, but whatever, we're, we're, we're in a good position right now. Yes, there's some resistance here, but it doesn't matter because overall on this daily price chart, we have the Ichimoku cloud with the resistance, but wow, look how close it is. We're so close to it. I'm gonna get rid of you again for now. Hide. Ah, Bollinger bands are, are ripe for something, especially if this is a failed move. If this is a failed move and we can go higher, that's huge. My only concern is that it's a lower low than this low, but uh, it's a higher low than this one from July 21st, 2021. Uh, it is a lower low than the, the August 26, 27 low, um, but uh, whatever, it's fine. It's we're right here in a good position. And if this is a failed move to the downside, we can make a pretty explosive move to the upside, break into this cloud maybe find some resistance around here, around this $3, 350 level, and then likelihood is to get higher. That would be a phenomenal move for the buyer chain price chart. Um, yeah, however, we've only just recently broken this price trend here. So that's my concern on this one. And yeah, what else is there to say about that? That's 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 just where we are right now. This is the only negativity on the RUSDT chart. However, if we want to play Wick style, we start doing something like this, and we say, okay, fine. In fact, um, interestingly, it's not the worst in the world. Okay, we're still decent, just not ideal. That's all. Okay, so. That's your pirate chain price chart. Like on the MACD here, we could definitely use some positive momentum um, and just bring ourselves back out of this recent negativity. We'll see. That's the daily price chart. Now, if we start moving into a four hour time frame, okay, we get into it and we say, all right, we'll kind of, this is a pretty strong retracement of this down move. So let's find some basing over the next 20, you know, 23rd, 24th, 25th. Uh, of September, and that would be, let's say, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe, you know, find out what's happening. Maybe the weekend will be strong enough and we can start channel uh, challenging the cloud and channeling this, this trending line here and trying to get above it, trying to get above this um, this previously support and now resistance, uh, $2.75 line. Okay. All right, that's where we are. Fire chain, USDT. That's it, wishing you well. Stay hydrated, friends. And hold that love in your heart so you can find your peace. And uh, the happiness comes by default at that point. 43,500 BTC. Here we are. I'm going to leave it at that. We'll see where it ended up on the next one, okay? Take care for now.
goodbye.